that I get. Um, I still don't think it's that awful. It really um, wasn't. Uh, it certainly was manageable in this game. But, you know, I, I am a fan of a smaller stage list in general, so I have nah. no issue with the stage list that we currently have. Devin's like, no. I, I, I came from Brawl where we had 50, 100 stages. We I, didn't even. I, this I is know. the most stages we've ever had, I, and I, it's I, actually I, like where it should be. I anyway, know. goddammit. <laughs> fucking, oh my god. I played Brawl, but we played on Yoshi's Island. Yeah, okay, Devin. <laughs> That stage is actually also fine. Like no, I don't want to hear. Oh my god. Anyway, Devin, game one. Stop. Uh, <laughs> my god. All right. So really quick start. Oh, despite everything that I've been saying, um, these players have gotten off to a raucous start. Both players already admitted at high percents as we speak. We're getting backstage. Get numbers. You can't edge guard this man. Uh, yeah, I think our, our tags are mixed up. That is John. John numbers does yeah. not play Pikachu. Uh, that would be hilarious. Though. He I, should play that I don't card. Think, I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can't, whoops. <laughs> can, cannot punish that uh, with uh, weak chin or grab. Obviously, not not a huge whole lot of range on that. Um, and it's going to be uh, you know, Mouse Art responding though after a quick stock from numbers. Excellent wait. Excellent wait by Mouse Rat. That's what you have to do versus numbers. He can stall all he wants, but after a certain point, Weaver Trainer's recovery, if you go that low, is super duper linear. He can just wait. This is the best edge guard character in the game. Like, you can just wait for Weaver Trainer. Yeah, I mean, especially Weaver Trainer's uh, recovery doesn't have, doesn't quite have that, like, vertical hitbox the way it has on the sides. Ooh, all right, John Numbers looking for that down okay. trying to end things real early. Yeah, and one of those things, you don't really see like the full conversions from Mouse Rat or anything. A lot of times short bursts where Mouse Rat's able to you know, get damage. Um, but it doesn't really have to look at those long Pika strings, but absolutely a inordinately patient neutral coming out from Mouse Rat. And you're seeing that come and help in spades versus numbers. Just has an extraordinarily patient neutral himself. Oh, absolutely. The way that John has been playing lately, John, I feel like plays very patiently, but also with no fear. Yes. Like, he will just stand in your face while you're just doing all this crazy movement in front of him and just know the perfect time to throw that sun salutation. Yeah. As I said in the past, John does play very defensively, but he's also a psychopath. <laughs> so he will hit you with something and you'll be like, why on earth did you do that? And you'll be like, well, it killed you. So, like, get, like, schmicks. Okay. Oh! No text coming out from Mouse Rat. Means John Numbers is going to be taking that second stock. Yeah, and now John with the lead is so scary. I am a proponent of the theory that you. Oh, no. Game. It's always mid sentence. Like, why can't a player do it when we're silent? Like, John, you know, you're so good. It's like, every time. Today, this, this, there has been quite a lot of SDs today. Mm -hmm. Despite like, the hypeness of all these sets that have had, there's been a significant portions of just. Bizarre, FD like there's at twelve, at like a, like thirty, like I I I, you're reacting to like the getup attack, but why are you? In oh, you just went past the ledge. Oh. Yeah, he just wanted to spot dodge. He wanted to spot dodge or shield or something. Like, oh my! Just wanted to land. Look at okay, tell me right here you don't think you're on stage. Tell me right you don't think you're on stage right here. What? <laughs> <laughs> the, the banana peel. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Do we got Sky Tower music? That's where I have some good music taste. Okay. In, in this game too. All right, and we are going right to Battlefield. Great stage for uh, Pikachu here. You have those platforms to extend the combos off of. You have platforms to mix up your, uh, you know, up quick attacks off of Ledge. Uh, okay, there. No. That kill. I think if John didn't drift out with that hula hoop, I think he was making it back easy. Yeah. But that's a huge lead for Mouse Rack coming in. But John Ooh. does have deep breathing. Yeah, that's a big jump read for John. Could have gotten a little bit more, maybe. Um, however, Mouse Rack uh, reestablishing stage control. And now here in a good position. Ooh, catches the jump in. Great read by John on with the up tilt out of shield. Yep, anti airing that uh, up air there from Mouse Rack. Nice. Ooh. Mouse Rat trying to play the patient game right back. John Numbers was ready with the running grab. Okay. Ooh, looking for that grab out of shield right there. Was Mouse Rat, those T-Jolts really good, just pressuring John in that corner of the stage. And now we're back to Ledge's friend. Mm -hmm. F-Tilt's not enough just yet. 
No, John, no though, in a, in, in a good position. You know, you, you haven't taken that much damage against a Pika. A character that is known for just racking that damage up. Um, this is not too bad for John just yet. Absolutely. Oh, that's a jumpless John right now. But the sock fall, giving him all the space he needs to get right back to the stage. Okay, charging up the Sun Salutation just enough to get through that T-Jolt and there to catch the quick attack. Okay. Ooh, try to catch the fair on uh, ledge there. And then the nine end up working out, and John was reversed to it. You Ooh. took 74. Congrats. Oh, you nearly almost died. died. You nearly exploded. Playing patient. Okay. Great ledge. Great use of the huge hitbox of the up air. That's John numbers rolling in. And just great recognition after that parry to realize that John was going to be drifting just far enough in to turn around and grab. Mm -hmm. um, get a bigger punish there. Maintain stage control with Mouse Hunter. Such an excellent job of doing this far. Okay, nice. Jabs beat Soccer Ball. That's so big. Oh, God. <laughs> that Soccer Ball, though, coming right back to hit Mouse Rat. Right, we've got the full Sun Salutation. There. Okay. Great tech. Numbers ready with the tech. Right there. Very rarely misses text. Nearly getting a dare punish there. Yeah. Pika able to drift back in and out with that back air to, to maintain stage control, get out of the way of John's potential punish. Great reaction there by John to cancel out that deep breathing. Catching Mouse Rat pressing forward a little bit too much with the Sun Salutation. Yeah, and those those teasels are so good at preventing Soccer Ball from being an issue with Pika. For those not gonna be it's yet neither is up throw. We're not really close. That used to be a kill throw, no longer in this game. We want to grab that time, not finding it. Soccer ball still not doing it. DA Ooh. was just barely enough there to take the stock. And, you know, Mouse Rat actually went down a little bit of percent there after taking the stock. Yep. What? Okay, I think that was a grab and an air. That's what it looked like. Because um, John went flying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, not a terrible, terrible position here uh, for John. You just got to get the stock off. Um, after, you know, it was a tough beginning, and that Sun Salutation big enough to get straight through the T-Jolt, take that stock. Yep, taking all that space that Mouse Rat was trying to take for himself. Waiting for Mouse Rat to pull the trigger on the down air was John. Okay. But still taking quite a bit of percent. Quick little conversion. No! Wow. Okay, just barely getting past the T-Jolt. I could have sworn it was going to take this jump. Nice spot dodge on the neutral air there. Okay. Nice and a great parry and getting the soccer ball damage in there as well. I think there was maybe a missed beer reverse there from John. Meaning Mouse Rat gets to keep all of that space. Yeah, and those soccer balls just pestering Mouse Rat at the ledge. Uh, you know, he's been responding pretty well to them overall. Nice roll, trying to get the grab um, as the punish. Yeah, and, and Weaver Trainer's fair, just not hitting low enough to hit uh, Pikachu's shield there. No, not the, not the forward hit of it. Okay. Yeah, and Mouse is doing an excellent job of keeping John at the ledge here. Nair down tilt. Yep, Sun Salutation is offline now for John, so he's gonna make his way back in. Does get so with the roll uh -oh. in F tilt. Yeah, I was gonna say, deep breathing F tilt will probably just kill Pikachu at ledge now. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, now it will kill from almost anywhere on the stage. Okay, and John is looking for DA, looking for the ability to put Pikachu at that ledge. Yep. Okay, no more deep breathing though. John obviously in a much more um, vulnerable position here. Not only gonna be not able to kill as early, but will be dying earlier as well. Yep, and Sun Salutation offline does have it back now, so he does have a way to fight through the T-Jolt. That's so huge in this matchup. Wow, and an excellent deep fair right there by Mouserat to get that game off. Even this up at 1-1. And now we're going to game three, John Numbers counter pick. Wow, these these T jolts just positioning so John deep. to go so low. That will hold on, hold on, hold the heck <laughs> on. This was so close to Mouse Rat just dying. John put header out. Mm -hmm. He did not have a soccer ball, which means the the spiky box is not as active. But look at this, John goes into no. I could have sworn I saw the startup of header. I right. thought so too. Yeah, am I crazy? Okay, maybe it was just the the hit frame. I mean, yeah, it's maybe just the animation it, where it she goes when she like... gets hit. Let's see. One. Pikachu. No, that's oh, starting no, to matter. I was like, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so yeah, that is so close. Like a couple frames more, and John just die, or and Mouse Rider just dies. Um, 
But Mousetrap, fast fall on that fair. Um, let's see, I'm gonna die if I have to, but I'm getting this fair. Um, and it ends up taking the stock. D fair again. John Stiles does have jump though, he's in a good position. Please, you die. Oh my okay. god, Pikachu's nutty. <laughs> That's insane that he was able to make it back from that low. Yeah, yeah but Mousetrap knowing his distances, just barely being able to get back to the stage. Okay, misses the, I think, second, uh, a quick attack there, and John is taking full advantage. Been tough Pikachu to get back, back to the floor. No T Jolt able to come out. Ooh, just barely misses flat there. It actually works out for Mouse to get back down to the ledge, the stage. What a drift there by John Numbers. Master, I thought he was going to the ledge, but John coming back in. Okay. All right, Sun Salutation, which means Master Rat has to be careful with these T-Jolts. Love the idea with the movement there on the platform, but John was ready with the dash attack, and, only 46%. And that's the thing, when you're at these low percents, you're still in a position where a lot of the time, you're almost better off just taking the T-Jolts on your, like, hit, hit, hitting you, than you are shielding it. You're more stunned if it, if, if it hits your shield than it is if you're hitting, uh, you know, you're getting hit by it. So a lot of times, low percents, just get hit by T-Jolt. And you saw me here, John got hit by T-Jolt, punished with a... Uh, wow. John is a psychopath. Didn't even have deep breathing. This full read said, you're going to try and run off off this platform, and yeah, you, you, oh congrats, my God. you just took 43. Um, John, okay. Well, it's been nice. It's been cool. This is game three. John, this just happens. Good luck. John, oh. I hate John so much. <laughs> oh my god. I hope John gets the reverse three stop. Please. Please. That was an insane hitbox. Please. Um, yeah, so... Uh, John obviously just been very dominant. However, though, uh, quick start here for Mousetrap. Looking... Oh, you died? Oh no, okay. Doing, actually, smart up into the... Um, yeah, can't run in there. John can be able to parry those. All right, I love the low angle quick attack right now. <laughs> can I redeem my points for this right now? Okay, forward though, not gonna be enough to get for more uh, numbers. We're going all the way deep though. Like the idea for John. Oh, and the, wow, that was that such a good, all the hate on throw at John. That was such a good setup. The, the stall to wait till the absolute second until Pikachu grab ledge, throwing out soccer ball to try and hit um, Pikachu coming up high. And then when Pikachu d doesn't come high here, John snaps ledge, uh, ledge trump reacts to the direction of the ledge trump as well. You know, the, the ledge trump DI as we call it. Um, and gets the fair to get the stock off. Absolutely. Such a Just great setup by John. Immaculate. Immaculate gameplay by John Numbers, except for that, like, uh, ran the up smash. This, this was <laughs> hilarious. It's like, nice running, says John. It's just like, you're gonna die. Um, that up smash is ludicrously strong. I, I hate John so <laughs> much! Oh my god! Mm. This is degenerate. This is the exact music that needs to be playing for John numbers right now. <laughs> Look with this man! He charges the soccer ball at the center of the stage with an up smash, ready to go, staring at you menacingly, and this is all he does! He's up two stocks, he's like, I'm just not gonna play the game anymore. My brain is turned completely off. <laughs> Villainous behavior. <laughs> go center stage like, I'm gonna put a soccer ball here, and I'm gonna go under it, up smash, and you're gonna <laughs> run into it. And no one ever runs into it. Everyone knows that it's Invincible John, but you still do it anyway. I hate John numbers.